Gimbals are getting more and more affordable nowadays. Why? How am I supposed to know that? But it's a good thing, right? And since we are talking about affordable, I have here a one-axis gimbal that will definitely not disappoint you when it comes to vlogging with your mobile phone. This is the Moza Nano SE, and we are going to talk about this after the intro. Paramount Pro! Hey, what's up guys? Ronald and Shal and Boy, thanks so much for coming back here on my channel. This is the Moza Nano SE Selfie Gimbal. Yes, you heard me right. Selfie gimbal and we're going to talk about this in a bit but before that I just want to thank my Goods and Moza family for sending this in the attic. Thanks so much Goods and Moza but here's a disclaimer. Yes they did send me this for a review video but I'm going to be honest in my opinions about this product. Disclaimer mm, done so without further ado let's go see first what's in the box. Inside the box, you get the manual, the Moza Nano SE Selfie Gimbal with the remote control attached, and a USB-C cable. And that's pretty much it. The Moza Nano SE is a one-axis extendable mobile gimbal. One axis, meaning it only stabilizes the roll movement. Unlike the Moza Mini MX, which is a three-axis gimbal. A three-axis gimbal stabilizes the pan, the tilt, and the roll, so it has three motors. The Moza Nano SE only has one motor. We have two colors to choose from. Mine is a mint green color, so after this review, I'm going to give this to my wife because, you know, the color. This is made out of plastic. It weighs 250 grams without the phone. Its weight capacity is 280 grams. It has a switch here to turn it on and off. It has a battery indicator lights in here. It has a Bluetooth connection indicator here. It has a USB-C port here for charging. And its battery will last up to 10 hours of use if it's fully charged. I mentioned that this is a selfie gimbal because you can extend this from this to this up to 27 inches when it's fully extended so you can get a wider field of view like this one all right and also there is a hinge here for you to properly frame your shots its handle is also its tripod legs and uh, it has a center stand that will surely give you added stability now here is a cool feature it has a detachable remote control you can use this while you are holding the selfie stick or the selfie gimbal you can also use the remote control if you are away from the gimbal. So now I'm going to teach you how to use the Moza Nano SE and the remote control. Once you are connected, you can then use the remote control as a trigger for your phone's native camera app. But to use its full capabilities, you have to use the Moza Genie app. Open up the Moza Genie app and connect it to your phone. Once connected, you can now enjoy all the features of the app. If you want to know more about the app, you can watch my son's review of the Moza Mini MX right here. But you have to keep in mind that not all of the features of the Moza Mini MX is applicable to the Moza Nano SE while using the app. Because the Moza Mini MX is a more advanced gimbal than this one. So there's that. Back to the Moza Nano SE. Now let's control the Genie app using the Nano SE's remote control. To switch from landscape to portrait mode and vice versa, you just have to press the up button on the remote control. To switch from front to back cameras, you just have to press the up button three times. To start and stop recording or take a photo, just press the down button once. To zoom in, press the right button. To zoom out, press the left button. Now that's pretty much it for the remote control. Now let's go and test this gimbal outside to give us an idea how it performs while walking and vlogging. And right now I am outside to test out the Moza Nano SE. And uh, as you can see, this is your field of view when the stick is not yet extended. Now let me extend that for you. There you go. Now you get a wider field of view. I'm not sure how this sounds though, but the stabilization is quite okay. Not as good as the Moza Mini MX though. And right now I am testing out the portrait mode. This is good for your Facebook or Instagram stories. And there you go. It gets even wider if you stretch out your arms. Let me run a little bit. Oh, God damn. Not bad, actually. Now, here 
are some things to keep in mind. The Moza Nano SE is not your filmmaking phone gimbal. It's more of like an enhanced selfie stick from Tony Stark. Meaning you cannot expect this to be as stable as the Moza Mini MX because this is just a one axis gimbal. If you are just casually vlogging and not being fancy doing that, this is for you. If you are expecting for a more stable footage, check out the Moza Mini MX. The Moza Mini MX is for the mobile filmmakers. This is for the mobile vloggers. Is there a difference? Now here are the things that I like about the Moza Nano SE. Number one, I love how light this is. Your arms will truly love this thing. Number two, I love its detachable remote control because you can control this from far away, but not that far though. Number three, this is really stable for casual vlogging, really. Number four, I like the fact that it extends so you can get a better field of view, especially when you want a wider shot. Number five, I love that it's foldable. You can put this in your bag without taking too much space. Number six, I love the fact that this is really affordable. You can get this for just $45 or 2,300 Philippine pesos. Now here are the things that I don't like about this selfie gimbal. Number one, the center stand is quite loose. Most of the time it slides through. Number two, I don't like the fact that it can only use the primary lens on my phone. My iPhone has three lenses at the back. I want to use them all to switch to different angles. So most of the time, I end up using the native camera app. Last thing that I don't like about the Moza Nano SE is the fact that it doesn't have a quarter inch spread anywhere in its phone holder for me to mount a mic maybe or a light. But as I've said earlier, this is just for casual vlogging, so there's that. Now, who is this selfie gimbal for? As the name suggests, it's for people who likes to do selfies. For the people who are fond of vlogging casually. For the people who want a stable vlogging footage. If you are that kind of an individual, the Moza Nano SE is the right selfie gimbal for you. Now that has been my review of the Moza Nano SE Selfie Gimbal. If you want to know more about this product, check out the links below. JP Abrahan, a friend of mine, also a filmmaker and a YouTuber, did a video regarding this. You might want to check his video right here. If you want to purchase this, purchase link is in the description. Now, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell as well. Again, this has been Rana Denshal. Thanks so much for being here, and see you in the next video. Oh,